everyone. I'm really sorry I'm a minute late. It's very unusual for me, isn't it? Uh, but we had a mouse issue. Went to move my mouse and the battery died. So Danny was in the other shop, resting around, bought the batteries in, bought the wrong size in, then had to run back again. And I'm saying, run faster, run faster. I'm late. <laughs> so evening, everybody. How are you? Let's make sure you can all hear me okay. So I will say good evening in just a second. Just going to make sure you can hear okay. I'm just going to go and share to my share to my timeline so people can see me i think i've done that let me just check it's there yep there we go so yeah you can all hear me loud and clear so excuse the look tonight i've just had a bath i've got my, my tracky bottoms on i've got my tracky top on everything i'm just back from telly and i'm just um I'm going to be honest with you, I'm shattered actually. I've had a really busy few days, really busy. So obviously I saw you on Monday night, didn't I? Um, and I went up to TV early on, oh, I can't remember now, Thursday morning, wasn't it? Thursday morning. So I went up Thursday morning and um, I had to do a pre-record for over the Christmas break then so that was in the afternoon then that, that was a couple of hours then I did my new and exclusive then I got up in the morning this morning I did another part of the new and exclusive and then I went and did another pre-record all of these are different products so I was in two different studios and I had three different sets in total as in like I was in the uh, attic set, then I was in another set and another set. So they had to move me around in different sets. And then I had to go and do something for the Christmas um, advert thingy. So all in all, it was absolute chaos. And I got back, and I was like, I am not going to get time to get the demo prepped and everything I want to work on with you. And I felt I kind of would let you down a bit, really, if we did the colouring tonight. So that's what I really want to talk to you about. So let's have a look and see who's here. I'm not expecting it to be too busy tonight because I know there is Strictly on tonight as well and um, it's not demo night and you're not expecting anything new. So some of you might be like, oh, I'll have a night off of her tonight. I've seen her all day anyway. So let's go back to the beginning. So if you could please like and share for me for the giveaway. A uh, little bit delays in the giveaways coming out simply because our post office has asked us if we could sit back for just a little while over the past few days because they've got such a backlog from the past couple of issues that they've been having with um, strikes and what have you so it's really taken a while for them to catch up because they're a little tiny post office just down the road from us but we'd love to give them our business because they're our local post office and um they're a little small family run business so we like to support them but obviously it um puts pressure on them the amount of products we're taking down for them to post at the moment so we've just given them a little breather so don't panic yours will be coming out if you've won so if you could say um like and share for everybody for me, that'd be really good. So thank you very much. So hi from Caroline, your first time, well, very warm welcome to you. We're not doing an awful lot tonight, but we did a little bit of chatting and I'll be letting you know what's coming up and what we, we will be doing next week and leading up to Christmas. So first of all, um, thank you for today and thank you for yesterday. Massive support for that, I was really grateful we did really really well we haven't got many of the foil plates left we've got a few left not a lot so if you're on the fence you can still get them from crate and craft but there is only a few left um we will have one on our website in 14 days uh, but i do know some of you were not sure about them we're waiting to see what other people felt but i'm just going to give you a little bit of a, a rundown on them tonight just so you know so a few of you were saying to me um what machines can I use the foil plate with? But the foil, what machines do the foil 
machine, glimmer machines work with. So basically you need a wide mouth machine. So no, it won't work with your tangerine. Oh, that was one of them I was asked. Will it work with the Big Shot? Yes, it will work with the Big Shot. It will work with the Big Shot Plus. It will work with the Switch. It will work with the Platinum 6. It will work with the larger Platinum. Plat platinum, Platinum. Sorry, I'm pretty tired tonight. I'm not speaking very well. Um, I'm pretty sure it works with the cuttle bug as well, or any machine that's got that wider mouth, you should be able to use it with. Yes, you can use my foil. Also, the questions are about where you can use the foil plates. So the foil plates, yes, you can use them in the Gemini machine. Yes, you can use them in the Go Foil, Go Prep. Foil and press, go press and foil, whatever that one's called, and obviously the glimmer. No, you cannot use it with um, the, the toner-based machines, you know, the ones that look like laminators. They don't work with that because that's more of a, um, I don't think they even call that cold foiling because it's not really, is it, because it's warm. But the hot foiling is really for the plate. So the ones that have the nice hot plate are the ones you can use the foil plates with. Head to a plate. So that's those. So I do hope you got what you wanted anyway. I know Christmas is coming up, so um, you're probably spending more money on your on other people than you are on yourselves at the moment. So we've saved the big launches until January, February time. But there is a couple of launches in January. So Christmas money, look out for the releases in January. So that being said, I'm going to be quite brief tonight, but I will say to you that we have um couple of Fridays coming up where we're not doing much so what I thought we would do is next Friday is everybody around next Friday that's what I really want to know who is around on Friday are you free for a demo I'm going to try and avoid the football so if you let me know if there's any football on I will try and avoid that at all costs as well for you um, so I'm just trying to find the best time to do it because we're going to do a watercoloring demo um, and what I would like to do is put some deals on the website as well at some point. I've, I've got a really busy weekend coming up, but early part of next week, I'm going to really try and catch up with everything and we'll get some deals on the website. So hopefully if there's things you see and you watch and you like, you can grab them at really good discounted prices because we didn't really do a Black Friday on the website. So I'll try and whatever we demo with, I will put on a special, special deal for you just as a Christmas thank you. Um, so let's have a look and say hello to some people. Right, so starting right at the beginning. Oh, it's not as busy tonight, I can tell that, but then you are all probably sick of the sight of me. So evening, Karen, Ma Marie, Caroline, Deborah, good evening. Thank you for helping Danny out today. Hi, Jenny, Emma, Jan, Jill, Elizabeth, Kathy. Asam kid, I don't know your name, but I'll use your your username. Hi Sam, hi Brenda, hi hi here Miss, hi Ben, hi Chrissy, Adele, Miriam, no Rose back being late, hi Con, hi Lorraine, hi Ross, hi Beverly, oh, hi Emma. I've already said hello to Emma. Hi Sharon. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my voice. Sharon, I don't know when you're next in. Go see Lottie, she's got something for you. Um, hi, Nikki, hi, Christina, from the US of A. Christina, I don't know if you know, you might do, but I've not been on social media, but all of my shows going forward are going to be broadcast on my Facebook page and they will be priced in dollars. Um, so you will get to see the shows in the US from my Facebook page and it will give you a chance if you need to catch up or anything because they will always be on my Facebook page. So it's that's really worth worth having. That was um, a bit of a job to sort that out, but we've done it. Um, evening, Brenda. Hi, Lorraine. Oh, hi, Otter Lady. Debbie, Chrissy, Karen. Da, 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 da. Uh, did Danny finally get a chance to get back to you? You're very welcome. Um, Mary Kelly, good evening, Pam. Do, 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 do. Tons of you. I'm going to keep going because there's lots of you coming on now. So, um, hi, Margaret. Yeah, yours. Yeah, yours is one of them, Margaret. Um, hi, Sam. Hi, Linda. Hi, Lynn. Goodness me. Some of you, the, ooh, I'm catching up now. There's more of you arriving. Hi, another Pam. 
Okay, so you're free, you're free. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. No, you're not free. Who's that not free? No, football, no, rather have a demo. When is the football? It's Sunday, isn't it? Is there, is there UK football on? I do. You hate the football anyway. I'm just trying to make it so it's, um, oh, yeah, go see Lottie. If not, I'm sure she will leave it with somebody for you, Sharon. Um, but Lisa, didn't you lose your foil plates? That's that's, that's one good thing. Um, I keep going down. Da, 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 da. Right, I'm back. I lost you. I'm not very techie. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Well, I might be soon, but you can still catch up later. It will be in the group. It will be on my Facebook page. It will be on my timeline as well. It will be on YouTube. So if you miss it, you can catch up there. Deborah's around. Forget about the football. I'm free. Well, it's on all the time. There, there we go. We'll do that. So basically, uh, hi, Janice. Um, basically, next Friday, we're going to do a watercolour demo because Dawn kindly did the foiling demo for me because I thought you might get sick of seeing me foil. And it's nice to see different people doing it and they, everyone does it in a different way. So next Friday, we are going to be using, this is a bit, bit different in that we normally use our embossing folders and our stencils to do all out. Oh, so I've got a sore throat coming. So I think I've been talking so much. Can't, can't talk properly. Um, yeah, normally we use, our, for colouring our embossing folders, we use our stencils, but we're not going to this time. We're going to use our watercolour palette. We've done one before with the poppies, and that was really successful. Okay, so we're going to do another one, but what I will do is go and have a look at the website, see what we've got plenty of stock of that we can work with. I'm, I'm leaning at the moment towards, I think, think du, 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 du. I think it could be the viola but I'm not sure what stock I've got let me have a very I might do this while I've got you here so let's do it here so it might be easy way of doing it let's go to my website mm. I'll do it from the business side uh, just trying to think about what might be the nicest one to do so let me have a very quick look and I can look at all the stock for you and then I can say, oh, we've got plenty of that one. So that will be the best way to do it. So let's go embossing folder and let's have a look. So, mm -mm -mm. We need a floral, really. I'm trying to think of an oh, I'm very low on stock, aren't I? This is my next next job next week. That one is sort of stock out. So ah, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Sorry, bear with me. It's just because I've got so many embossing folders. <laughs> Okay, we're either going to do, I'm going to go away and think about it, we're either going to do the Buttercup Bloom or, or, one more, I've got a couple more pages to go, I'm trying to think what's going to work the best. Because I know what I want to do, but I just want to make sure. Mm. One second, one second. Almost there, almost there. Just talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'm going through it. Oh, I'm making sure that I'm getting the right, right products because I think. Right, we're either going to do the sunflower and roses or the buttercup bloom i think i think so sunflower and roses so um dawn could you write that down for me or miriam so i don't forget it will be what sunflower and roses or buttercup bloom that we're going to do and what we're going to do 
is we're going to use our watercolor palette we're going to use our watercolor brushes we're going to use you know our black watercolor book and we're going to spend a good hour and we're going to go through coloring some flowers start to finish we're going to do a few different technique things with watercolors as well we'll, we'll do as much as we can in the time we've got so oh see it's, it's full of some people are saying sunflower roses buttercup blue blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes, please, I have a buttercup one. Um, it's any fine for me. I've forgotten what I've bought. <laughs> You're not the only one, I'm sure. But, yeah, well, I'll have a look. But I think I'm leaning towards buttercup bloom because it's quite a nice wide open space. But I will get back to you on that. And what we'll try and do is for those of you who don't have it, we will try and put it on a special deal. Or oh, some of you haven't got the watercolour palette, we'll do the same with that or if you haven't got the brushes, etc. We'll try and put a little pack together. If we can, I'll go and check out all the stock to make sure what we've got. And then all you need to have with you is um, just a piece. If you're going to colour along with me, so if you've got the stuff, all you need to have is a little pot of water, watercolour card of some description, your embossing folder embossed already and have a little tissue with you or a piece of kitchen towel so you can dry your brush off and obviously your brushes. If you haven't got the product, you can watch. I will try and get it on the website Monday, Tuesday, sorry, Deborah, um, as a little bundle um, and see if we can do something special. I can't guarantee it's going to get you by Friday, but if it does, all well and good. Like I said, there is that rush and backlog at the post office, but I will do my best to get it to you. Okay. Jennifer, the thing is, I don't know which one I'm going to do yet, but either way, the principle of what, what we're going to do is going to be the same for all of them. You haven't got any watercolours. Tracy, another good thing you can watch. You can decide if you like the look of it, if you want to give it a go. If you don't want to give it a go, it's an easy, it's an easy introduction. Um, but for those of you who quite fancy it but can't justify it at the moment, again, that's fine. Just watch. Or if you want to, sorry, I've got a message just come through. Oh, that's good. Um, just talking about the stop levels. So, yeah, so hopefully you can watch. If you want to have a go, have a go. If you don't, just just chill out and, and, and watch along with me. Um, when, uh, when, if and when are the flowered letters coming back to Craft Craft next year? That's going to be next year. They are on my website actually now. So if you haven't got them and you want to grab them on the website, they're available on there. Um, ba -ba -ba. I don't do yellows. No, we're not doing yellows. We're not doing yellows. So don't worry about that. It's absolutely fine if you don't do yellows. Um, you can paint with your ink pads with water. You absolutely can. You won't get quite the depth of colour that we're going to go for unless you've got a black ink pad as well. Um, do, 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 do. Let's so see what other colours there are. Um, Either way, it doesn't really matter which ones you've got, but I will double check which ones we're doing. I'll probably let you know over the weekend. Sweet peas, not really the one to do for this because I'm going to have to get really close in and I need something that's got a little bit of a wider area that I can get with my overhead camera, if you can see, but the principle will work the same for that anyway. Will you put on the website which you are using if we order Monday to try and get there Friday? It Again... Um, yes, I will try and do that over the weekend and let Deborah know as fast as I can so we can just put a little bundle up for you. Um, I can't guarantee the posting, as I said, and obviously Danny's just clearing from this show. Um, but if we can get them posted Monday, we absolutely will do that. Um, what else was there? I hope it's the sunflower and roses. <laughs> So either way, some of you were going to have one or the other. You know, it's it really is at the end of the world. Either or will work perfectly. So that's Friday coming up. Now, the following Friday. So that what date is that going to be? Let me get my calendar up. So that's going to be the 9th. Now, that's that's our Danny's birthday as well. So I'm going to have to take him out for lunch instead, aren't I? So that's, he won't mind, he won't mind. So we'll do that on Friday. And then we've got the 16th. 
So on the 16th, I think we'll do the same thing again. I think we'll do a demo. And what we'll try and do again, what I will do over the next few days is try and get a pack together again for the following week, just in case you want it. Obviously, at Christmas is coming. I know you probably won't, but it's fine. But it's, just, oh my God, my hands are moving my camera. But it's just to give you the option if you do. So we'll get a couple of classes ready for the next couple of weeks. So you've got plenty to play with. I think it might be quite nice. So we do the watercolouring next week and then we do something different the following week. So Dawn's done foiling. We're doing watercolouring. So what we'll do on the 16th is something different. I don't know what you fancy. Um, but... Lots of that's the trouble you see. A lot of strikes are coming up. So what I'm hoping to do is use what you've already got. Have you made your Christmas card yet, Liz? Sarah, are you having a laugh? <laughs> I'm addicted to your presents. I have to make a list of what I've got. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Is it good to have the watercolor starter kit? It's really good. I love watercolours. I adore watercolours. You'll see back from my poppy video, I adore watercolours. That is my absolute thing that I enjoy doing. Um, I feel, for what I'm going to try and teach you, the watercolour stuff, the, the watercolour euphoria palette is going to be great because it's going to give you 24 colours. 18 of those are going to be... I want to say your, your colours without any pigment in them and the other six are metallic, so they're going to give you almost like an interference, so you can use them on black card as well. So there is, I'm going to answer some questions in a minute. I keep seeing other comments. Right. Um, yeah, so I would, they were a really good starter kit, and they also come with a water brush as well for you, so you're kind of ready to go with that set. But I will put them on the website at a discounted price. I will try and do that over the weekend for you. But I will let you know when I've done it so you can go and have a look. You might want to, you might not. It's absolutely fine. We've, we've just spent money today. So this is just in case you do. Um, hi, Shelley. What was there was a question there? When is the. Have you done it? No, Jennifer, that's going to be, no, that's going to take, for my dyes, that's going to take me forever. Um, I'm up to 200, 200, well, if you look at the foil plates, they're 228. So I've got to try and type out an entire list up to 200 and something of that. And I just have enough time to do that, unfortunately. Um, do, 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 do. Well, there was something here. When can we purchase the concentric embossing folder? That's 14 days after the show was on. Now, I'm sure one of you would tell me how long when I was last on. Deborah will know. She's probably got it all in hand anyway. Um, yeah, but 14 days after the show, they will be available. And I have stock. I can assure you that I have stock of those. It's no problem. So... What I probably won't have much stock of is the foil plates, but I will have a few. But again, we were very careful with our stock on the foil plates. Let's have a look as well. <coughs> Watercolour pencils. Watercolour pencils are great, but for what we're doing, 24th of November, thank you. So two weeks from the 24th of November, the concentrics will be available. Um, problem we have with watercolor, with watercolor pencils is because we're doing it on embossing folders, when you start coloring onto your embossing folder, you're gonna lose a lot of that detail and it's gonna squash it a little bit. But the only thing what you can do is, is rub watercolor onto a piece of card and pick your color up like that. So if you've got pencils, you can use those as well. I'd love Santa to bring me a foiling machine, but I don't think I've been good enough this year <laughs> um they're lovely they really are lovely the foiling machines if you get a chance to get one honestly they become very addictive 
Okay, so yeah, you're gonna have something, you're gonna have something you can work with, even if we can't get product to you, you'll have something, I'm sure, in your stash. I mean, your inks, because they're blendable, they're gonna, when they dry, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced inks would be the way to go. Watercolor pencils, possibly the way to go. Tubes of watercolor would be fine to go with those as well. If you've got the watercolor euphoria, they're great to go with as well. If you've got your own brand, Derwent or something else, they're gonna be fine too, so we'll do that. Okay, um, that's that. So that's gonna be a couple of shows coming up, as in for us, we are also, I'm not sure when I'm going to do it yet, but we will do a exclusive release relatively soon for you all. So it will be products that you can buy directly from us rather than going directly to TV. It'll be a very, very, very small release, but it will be something we're going to try and do for you so you can buy direct rather than having to wait for the TV. So I will let you know when that's coming as well. So lots of things we are working on. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Right, my next show, I'm not into Christmas, after Christmas now, I've finished all TV for this year. So what I'm gonna do is come on, as I said, the week on the Fridays and do um, kind of classes with you guys. That'd be quite nice to do it like that, I think. And do, 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 do. So you've not done anything with the paints. You'll enjoy it then, I think. Um, was there any other, I think I saw something else there. 25th, 26th November they release. Yes, it won't be very long. Right, the other thing I need to talk to you about now, very quickly, many of you have received your Ultimate 2s. Oh my goodness, they went so fast. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe how quickly they sold. Now we're waiting for the stock to arrive on the boat. It's I've signed all the customs documents so they can't be too far away. I need to chase them on manufacturer when they're actually docking so we can get them loaded onto the website quickly. Now, what I didn't know, my manufacturer is a sweetheart and I thought it was my job to do and he did the job for me. So you know when you bought your Ultimate, you had the peg die included in the deal. He'd already put a peg die in there for me. So most of you got two peg dies. So you know your little compartment at the top where you've got your tool? There's a peg die in there as well. So lucky you guys, you've got two for the price of one. It is what it is, okay? Going forward, now we know you won't get a second peg die. So whoever has got it has just been really fortunate. So the orders that went out, most of them have the peg die because we didn't realize. You don't need to, but if you've got two, if you lose one, you've got a spare, haven't you? So in some of you might open your little compartment and find you've got a peg die and then find you've got one in a plain packet. So, you know, it is what it is. It's no stress, but you're lucky because I've, I've only got the one that I took to TV with me and we haven't got any more left. It happens. We're not sure going forward what's coming in on the container if they've got the peg die inside. So we'll be checking some of those just to make sure we don't send out double again. But we didn't know. We didn't know. He thought he told me. He hadn't. But it, it, it's a fine. So <laughs> you're lucky if you've got one. So have a look. Have a look down down inside if you've got one, uh, you might. Okay. Now, the other thing he, um, I wanted to talk to you about was, God, my brain's gone now. Yeah, it's not, it's not a moan, I promise you it's not a moan. I'm just asking for your help. Please, could you, we're starting to get a few more people saying something's missing, can we have that? Or I wanted to order this, I didn't get that. Um, how can I change this? And lots of those things in the group. And I'm trying to bring the group back to being about crafting, not about orders, not about um, issues or positive or negative. It's, it's not for that, it's for 
everybody to craft. So if there are queries, first of all, if they've been purchased from Create and Craft, if you could direct to Create and Craft, that would be fabulous. Um, if it is about a website order, could you email us? That would be really good. Please don't message me um, because I get lots of messages and I'm losing things. It and this in the nicest possible way I love you all dearly but I tend to get messages at random times of day and night and although people say please don't answer it's in the back of my mind if I don't answer I'll forget and the problem with that is when I answer I miss something else but I have to leave my phone on with my parents and Danny's parents and things so if you could email us or crank craft that would be really helpful please try not to put it in the group because what it does if somebody's got something missing or a delivery hasn't turned up or you want to know when your order's arriving, what happens is everybody else starts to comment underneath. And it's just human nature. We all do it. But then the creativity disappears down the page. And that's what we want to keep it about. So if you don't mind, that would be really helpful. And I know sometimes I've said it before, but sometimes we forget and it just crops up in conversation. But if we can keep it to the crafting, that would be fabulous. Um, yeah, Tony, have a look in your little storage compartment. You might find you've got one. Okay, Linda Walker, do I have a newsletter coming out? Yes, I do have a newsletter coming out. I'm working, actually. I need to speak to my um, lovely lady, Deborah, at some point next week to get a little schedule together because I'm actually behind the scenes, personally, trying to get a newsletter organised. It won't be um, every every week but it will probably be every fortnight or once a month there'll be a newsletter coming out and at the moment it will be for people who buy on our website because that's where our um our emails are if you like so if you purchase from us you you can you'll be on our mailing list basically what you can do i think you can create an account on the website i'm sure you can deborah would tell me if i've got that wrong um think you can um but if you so if you create an account on there or even make yourself a wish list do something and it will give you as long as we can get hold of your email address through the website that will make that because that's where the newsletter comes out from okay thanks dawn so you can you can so if you if you log in that means we will have your email address and we can add you to the mailing list and that means you will get uh, the newsletter. The newsletter will give you dates of upcoming shows, which would be really handy. It will give you links to the website and it will give you links to any anything we're doing or we're working on or if we've got special deals on, that kind of stuff. Um, Box Kit Magazine, I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. Don't, don't shout at me about the Box Kit Magazine. I'm going to have to have a drink because I'm getting really, really dry throat ever so sorry because I've, I've hardly drunk today because I've been on talking too much on air um we're also a big push next year is going to be made on trying to get the point system working for you because it's again it's all in the background it's just basically what we need to do is kind of set up a dummy account and test it to make sure it's doing what we want it to do so hopefully you get points for um, recommending somebody else, you get points for buying, you get points for uh, responding to things. There's lots of ways you can accrue points and points make, not prizes, points make discounts on your shopping. Okay, you might shout at me, but you won't. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. So they're the kind of things we're working on for next year. And this is the other reason that, I am not going to be going back to the studio before Christmas because what I've done, I've done the pre-record so they can add my shows in ad hoc. Um, we've got a few family things going on at the moment as well, some health issues going on, not, not me and Danny, but family things. So we do need to keep ourselves a little bit free at the moment to be able to go places at drop of a hat. And also Lily finishes college in about 10 days and I desperately want to spend some time with her so that's the reason for that and I think we've all got stuff to do at Christmas and then next year we're coming in with a massive bang and this is when um you know you were talking about boy bands but you were very professional <laughs> 
Exactly. Well, the points make absolutely prizes. Right. So let's talk box kits. So I was asked this question today at the studio, when's your next box kit coming out? And I'm going to say to you, I'm not doing them anymore. I'm, I've done four, okay. For the next year, I'm stepping back on the box kit. I did have two that I was going to work on and I had a long conversation with the practical publishing and I feel that I love the box kits. Please don't get me wrong. I adore the box kits, but I feel like there are things in them that I'd like to do and things I'd like to do differently. That I, obviously there are constraints when you have them, and so many people do them now. They used to be something that you would aspire to do because they were so amazing, but now I've got so many other things going on. I've got a lot going on in America. I've got a lot going on. Um, I'm going away as well for work. I'm going to the states for work as well. So I'm going to be away quite a bit, and I'm struggling to commit the time to it so I'm going to drop back for a year on the box kits however yeah Margaret absolutely so what I will say is we are going to pilot pilot number one of a subscription box okay it's on the container that's coming in. What I need to do is get it out to my team when it arrives and they will make samples with it and we're going to take it to TV and then we're going to decide, depending on the response to it, whether we start doing a subscription box instead of doing box kits. Because this allows me, so say we did a, uh, it's not, but say we did, for example, a a subscription of one month it was nautical for example so i've got lily messaging me now um one second we um say we did a nautical kit for example it would be nice that i can add to that because I've, I've made it all myself so that's what we're working towards so basically look out early part next year for a it's going to be January, so it's going to be January for TV, hopefully. So when the DT gets it, that's what we're going to be doing. So next year, we're kind of taking a year off the, the kits, but looking at other things to replace them that I've got more control over. Okay, new phone. No, I've just forgotten to turn it off or to silent. And I've no, actually, yes, you're I'm lying. This is a new phone. It was up for renewal. So yeah, lots lots of exciting things going on. Um, so that's the box kits covered. So don't worry about, uh, if you don't see a box kit from me, I've just stepped back for a little bit on those, just for next year. I might revisit it the year after, I don't know. Um, why is your camera going in and out? It's because of my hands. Let me just do that, right? Stop now, and it? I've got a, I've got a camera. Um, it is an AI camera, so it follows me, but I can do hand signals at it and it will stop doing them. Look, if I do this, if I do that, right? Follow me. If I do that, it won't follow me anymore. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but you will be able to get it in the USA as well. So Linda, don't you worry. And that's the beauty of this is that it was more difficult with the box kits, but I am, I'm, yeah, well, yeah. There's lots of interesting things coming out. You're going to do points on your website. Will you be able to run by new off the gym? Don't know yet. This is why we need to roll it out, Karen. We need to see how it works out, what we can do, what benefits there are to it. Um, yeah, that's what I mean. Loads of things going on. Loads of things. And this time before Christmas is just going to give us a little break to to do this stuff. Um, Tracy, you, you've, oh, bless you, Tracy. <laughs> Don't go out of your way, but thank you very much. Um, not like that wonky camera in CNC. <laughs> no, that was a bit strange. Um, yeah, so, yeah, just, so that's that. 
What was the other thing I needed to talk to you about going forward for next year? We've got a couple of nice big shows next year in January. So save your Christmas money if you're getting any Christmas money. When I say big shows, it's not big value shows. It's nice, um, big new products. So you've got new, new stuff coming. But what we do have on the 28th of this month, you've got two of my box kits within box. I've got two of your box kits for within bottom folders. Um, 28th is when I'm back at TV. So that is my that is my last show of 2022. And that is what I said today. It's a clearance show. Never done clearance before. I've done discontinued stock. Um, but this is clearance. This is literally we will count what's in the shop and we will pile it up and we will say, this is what we've got. No more, no more, no more. Um, if you buy it, you buy it. If not, it will go back into the box and it'll be put away till next year for clearance. So we're going to start building up clearance shows. So if you, there's, there's bits and bobs lying around, and this is handy, say, say we've got 20 or 40 or 50 of something where there's not enough to take to TV as a show. We have lots of bits like this going down the counter at ridiculous prices and you can grab great deals. One of the pre-records I have done is going to be a sale show as well. So that is going out between Christmas Eve and the end of Boxing Day, but I don't know when. It could go out once, could go twice, could go out three times, depending on what stock they've got left. Okay. When will we find out what's in the clearance? You will find out on the day what's in clearance. But as I said, like it's Christmas Eve to Boxing Day. Oh, Emma, thank you so much for, for mentioning that. That is what I wanted to talk to you about. You know, I said I've forgotten what I wanted to tell you. This is it. So when I was at the studios today, um, they asked me if I would be going to stand down uh, as a stand, and I said no. And they said, would I come along and do an hour live demo for them? Now, I can't say on here because um, the walls have ears next door where my family are sitting. So one of the days I, I can't do the Saturday because um, we're going to visit somebody. But the Sunday, the Sunday, which is the 29th, I am going to be doing live broadcast from Sandown at 11 a.m. Okay. This is half a page message. So, yeah, if you are local, if you want to go to Sandown, go on the Sunday. It's quieter. And I will be there Sunday at 11 a.m. Danny and Lily will be with me there, chaperoning me as usual. So, oh, you're going, Emma. Oh, I'd have to meet you. I'll have to meet you. Come and say hello. I want the birthday candle set as I missed it before. Um, there might be, I can't promise you, I will go and have a look tomorrow. There might be literally that amount of candles that amount of candles somewhere because again we what well, we go into crap this is the other thing it's it's Ambrose you've got to come say hello to me and Sonia there we go there we go, there we go. it won't be quieter now <laughs> they're all gonna say I'm not going Saturday now I'm coming on Sunday oh Susan oh my goodness there's quite a few of you so yeah I'll be in you know where they do the live demos I'll be doing a live demo there and normally they um there's a few people that stand behind and Come and have a chat with afterwards so I'll say hello. Hiya Claire. Four candles. Yeah. Um, so, so basically, th again, this month we're going to do like a stock take and we're going to make sure whatever we've got is loaded on the website because it's everything gets so frantic during the shows and then we're packing them onto the next one and the website gets busy and it just turns into a vicious circle. But this is giving us some downtime, some breathing space to get everything sorted. Anything else? Never been to a craft show. Never come anywhere near me. Mm. Do you know what, Margaret? It doesn't matter going on your own. Honestly, you sit down and have a cup of coffee. And people talk to you. People just talk to you. Go to the stands and people talk to you. It's such a great place to go on your own. I've been to, I've been to the the East of England showground one on my own. Just had a wander around and people talk to you. Even be, even though if before I was just doing this job. So it's not like they talk to me because I'm on telly kind of thing. Um, don't worry, don't worry. Not sure if 
Paul Lockwood has it. Not sure if us Paul Lock will be up to stand down to cheer you on. Well, make sure it's on the Sunday if you do come. I think I've answered everything. So we've got sand down. We've got a couple of good shows. Um, we've got a couple of lives we're going to do. Next year's looking exciting because we're looking at subscriptions. We're looking at um, point systems, all sorts, etc. So loads and loads going on and loads to look forward to. Right. So what I do need to do is ask you, you know, my phone just binged. It says driver on their way. Not long now till the KFC driver arrives. <laughs> I wonder what they're having for dinner then, eh? What are they like? Right. So, um, I've got to do what I did before. Let me get onto YouTube. So Danny will be posting on Monday again, um, last week's winners. So uh, sorry, you're waiting a little bit, but we're trying to do it, as I said, in um, as a little bit of a slow process, but there they are all coming out, okay? So don't worry if you haven't received anything yet for last week or the week before, but they should be on their way. We've had a lot of trouble with posts getting to us as well. That was the other thing. Okay, let me have a look. Right, so two things I want you to do. Thank you for liking and sharing for tonight. Really appreciate it. Um, please remember when the broadcast goes out on my Lisa Horton Crafts page when I'm live, always share that as well. Really always share that. That will also become something we're, we're going to do every single show now so that let, lets more people know that we're on um so what i'm gonna say to you now is oh we've got a winner for youtube from last week you know when i make you go and watch a video i don't make you watch a video i ask you to go and have a look at a video make a comment let me know if you like it so the winner for last week because I'll give you the whole week to go and do it, was Trudy, Trudy, how do I pronounce this, Trudy? Is it Trudy Alot or Aliot? I'm not sure which way to pronounce it, but either way, congratulations, Trudy, you have won. And for liking and com uh, commentating, for liking and commenting, we have a winner that is Sam Merry. So congratulations, Sam. Um, so both of you, if you could drop Dawn Sudfield a message and she will send your addresses to Danny, who will get your parcels and your goodies and your little prizes sent out for you. So tonight I'm going to ask you to hop on over to YouTube again and I'm going to ask you to go and have a look at that fantastic video that Dawn did on the foiling plates. Go and have a look at that. I haven't watched it because I've been away but I'm led to believe it's a cracker. Um, luckily, you, if, you, if you really like it, you can still go and buy them. Um, if you don't like foil plates, you can just go and watch it and make a comment. And even say, I don't like foil plates. Just as long as you say something in that um, video, then you'll be in the chance, be in with a chance next week of winning. Okay, so um, I think, have I covered everything, guys? Have I covered everything? Is there any questions before I go? Any questions? I'm just going to wait a few minutes, to see if there's any more questions that you need answering before I leave you, because I won't. Was that video Yes, It was either yesterday or the day before. Yes, it was two days ago. Did it says two days ago? It's called LHC. Oh, no, it's called, yes, it was yesterday, 23 hours ago, Lisa. What are you talking about? Foiling with Dawn at Surderfield. Um, it was 23 hours ago, and it's got a lovely picture there of two foiling plates and a couple of, couple of samples and it's entitled foiling plates so that was yesterday it was the one before the layering dots if that makes sense so if you go and have a look for that you can um like and comment or make make some comment on there and you'll give me a chance of winning next week okay thank you for tonight's live so no more questions are we going to do sentiment for the foiling machine yes 
Oh, yes. They're in production. Um, or they've gone to the manufacturer. I've been I've been I'm in an area with them, you see, because I've been wondering whether to do bigger sentiments, small sentiments, whether to do phrases, not phrases, but not poem, you know what I mean, just verses and things like that. Not sure. So I decided to go with like a, <laughs> a medium size. It's kind of scripty kind of font sentiments. When will the rubber mat be ready to sell? The rubber mat will be ready to sell when that boat docks because on that boat are the, the new kits. There are 2000 Ultimate 2, another, is it 960 or 1000 Ultimate 1. Then there are the rolled up silicone mats. There are tweezers, there are more stencil brushes, there are more bijou brushes, there are more, oh my goodness, more blending inks for you. Um, loads and loads of stuff. I think I've covered it all. Go and enjoy your KFC. I don't think they got me one. They might have done, I'm gonna have a look. The dockers better not strike again. You right, they better not start strike again because we've done the crate and craft, and I've done something very special for our USA customers as well. And I'll let you all know about that when it happens. Um, we've done it, we've done a very quickly before you disappear. We've done a broadcast, um, or we've pre recorded a broadcast that is going to go out for an exclusive deal to our USA customers on crate and craft. And Yes, Christina, they are, they're there as well. Um, and I need to, I've been asked to find out from you guys in the States, if we air the broadcast on Create and Craft, what is the best time of day for you guys to watch it? So what we wanna do is it's all recorded. We're just waiting for the stock to come in. When the stock comes in, I tell Create and Craft and then they're gonna air to, to the USA only, a show for you guys, a special show. And we need to know what will be the best time of day for the output for you, what works for you the best. So if you pop it in the comments for me, some of you, that would be helpful. What about gilding waxes? Gilding waxes are more are on their way. They will be packed as we speak. That's it. Any other com comments, what I'll do is I'll pick them up here or somebody I'm sure will message me and let me know I've missed something. So I'll see you next Friday. I'll be in touch over the weekend or early next week with exactly what we're gonna be using so you can plan. Um, and I'll also try and let you know about the following week so it gives you a chance to at least get them if you want to purchase whatever we're gonna be doing if you don't have it. So have a lovely week. And I will see you all next Friday at seven. Um, yeah, thank you for everything this week. Thank you for your support and coming to see me twice this week. Enjoy your weekend and we'll catch up really soon. Take care. Bye.